There comes a time when to paraphrase Popeye, you've had all you can stands and you can't stands no more. Hi everyone, this is John with today's active self-protection lesson out of Holland. Here we're going to see a victim that just takes and takes and takes until he can't take anymore. He's going to teach us some important lessons about verbal judo, about using your defensive fence and maintaining your distance, and about knowing how to control an aggressive person quickly and definitively. So these guys are having some kind of an argument. The guy in the black shirt's being aggressive and the guy in the light shirt isn't and then he gets headbutted for it right there. But he's still keeping his cool. You see him trying to keep that guy off him or whatever, but the guy's not having it and so he slaps him in the face again. And our guy in the, the light colored shirt is still staying super cool here. And, and the other guy's getting real aggressive. Well, the guy in the light shirt decided to try to take down there, gets him taken down, gets some help from a bystander, and they're going to hold him there. And thankfully, this one's over. Let's go back and learn some lessons out of this one. There's some important ones. First one here is this idea of, of staying there with your hands down at your side. You see, this guy's getting aggressive. I strongly recommend you don't let aggressive people into your space that close. That's the way you're going to get headbutted like this guy's about to. Instead, when there's an aggressive person around, make sure you use that defensive fence and get a hand up. Otherwise, you're gonna get punched in the face like this or headbutted like this or something like that. So that's where those attacks happen from. You gotta control your ego for that. Back that guy off and get your defensive fence up. There's a link in the description to what a defensive fence is on the Active Self-Protection Extra channel. So we see the guy here after that, he finally does that as well. You see him finally get something of a defensive fence up here just with his right hand, but that's certainly better than nothing. And as he's trying to keep this guy off him so he doesn't headbutt him again. And that's what we mean when we talk about using a defensive fence. However, he only uses it with one hand here. And because he only uses it with one hand, the guys are going to reach up and slap him. You got to have both sides covered. That's what the defensive fence is for, is providing protection for your head and neck against a, a surprise attack like this. He didn't, and therefore he caught a slap across the face. Now, this guy clearly, clearly is a practitioner. He's got great emotional fitness because he stays nice and cool and doesn't want to fight this guy. But now he's decided, obviously, we know where it's going. He's decided at this point that he's going to go, that he's going to actually defend himself against Against this guy and you got to make those decisions in a split second and have the skills to back it up and so he does here is he gets head control you can see him he takes his left leg uh, you know turns his hips and he's going to use some kind of a, a capture an outside capture on the arm and the leg there now i don't know you know i've ran this by a bunch of judo guys and you know some called it one thing some called it another i'm just going to call it a chemo sabi it could be just a wrestling throw and go from there but at any rate head and neck control captured the leg there, captured the outside arm, and then took him down. Don't know if he meant to take him down there or if the guy holding onto him made him fall down, but it was effective because he maintained the head and arm control, maintained that, and got a bystander or a friend in the fight. So communicating well with your friends to keep him from gouging your eyes out or whatever, also important. So the guy kept his cool here, had some skills, needs to learn that defensive fence so that the guy doesn't get those opportunities to begin with, and you can cover your rasp. 